Let's discuss how the COVID-19 crisis impacted the music scene in New York City and whether I still believe moving as an independent artist to New York City is still worth it. It's a very difficult question to answer for sure, but what I can share is that the New York of today is not the vibrant city I moved to eight years ago. And I'm going to share in details in a few seconds. Hi, I am Margot and I'm French. If you're interested in cross-cultural experiences and living abroad stories, then this channel is for you. Please hit the subscribe and notification buttons to watch more videos like this one. I've been performing for eight years in New York City at the moment I'm filming this video. I had to start from scratch after a successful career in France, but at the time I moved in, there were a lot of opportunities. Yes, it took me a while to get to the exact venues and clubs I wanted, but through the way, there were many gigs options. Unfortunately, I lost my two residencies due to COVID-19 closures. It was absolutely heartbreaking knowing that there were family-built business models and institutions as one of the two just celebrated being a live music underground spot for over 25 years, which makes it almost historical in New York Times. Other venues opened, but I found it harder, way harder than before pandemic to fill the room and attract the audience. Recently, for the first time since I arrived eight years ago, I had to cancel a gig. And believe me, it's the worst feeling ever. Many international musicians had to leave the country for good as they couldn't prove they would be hired the same way or at the same frequency as before the pandemic, which is extremely sad knowing that the New York scene is absolutely nourished by international additions. I don't want to sound negative, but so many venues that were institutions closed and the audience has a hard time returning. I heard recently many musicians question if it's still worth it or if it's still possible to make a living here, knowing that it's as challenging as before with fewer options. I'm not saying it's not worth moving to New York as an independent musician or artist now. I'm just saying that New York is still recovering and maybe for music and arts in general, it will take a little bit more time than other fields. If you have any question or want me to expand on any topic of this video, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and make sure to enable notifications. In the next episode, let's talk positivity and how I adapted to the sky is the limit mentality. Stay tuned, à bientôt.